For this month's top five pens, we're breaking the ice and cozying up with some of the hottest pens of February 2021. Welcome pen friends. 2021 continues to roll on with all new releases from top pen brands around the world. This month, there were many candidates for our top five list. So many, I could have made a top 10 or a top 20 easily. However, there can only be five. That's the rules. Here's a quick disclaimer about this list. These top five pens are based on sales, likes, comments, and customer reviews on goldspot.com during February, 2021. This isn't our personal top five list or greatest of all time list. It's a list created by you, the fine people of the online pen community. So at number five, first up on our list here is the Twisby Eco Smoke Rose Gold Fountain Pen. This Eco Smoke Rose Gold follows the Eco White Rose Gold, the Mini Rose Gold 2, and the Diamond 580 Smoke Rose Gold 2. So if you haven't been aware, Rose Gold is really in right now. It really takes a basic pen, which I mean, this is not a, such a basic pen. This is a great starter fountain pen, um, but it can be a pen that is very youthful looking or, or, or rather like student looking. And it takes it and brings it into that luxury element with the beautiful uh, warm rose gold finish that's on here. And you'd see the rose gold on the clip, the cap band, the ring at the bottom of the piston mechanism here, and of course the nib. And the calling card of the Twisby Eco is that it is a detachable design. So you would unscrew the piston mechanism here and use the included Twisby wrench to then detach the piston mechanism and then be able to remove it cleanly from the barrel and then be able to clean this barrel. Because uh, what happens is sometimes when you use uh, certain fountain pen inks that have been, let's say, in this barrel for quite some time that it would then let's say leave a stain or leave extra ink in there that you would otherwise want to flush out so removing this piston mechanism would make it a lot easier to then access the inside of the barrel and clean it out but that's only in cases of extreme dirtiness that's in here so i wouldn't really do it for a routine clean uh, especially if you're just using regular inks, non-super saturated, non-shimmering inks, just regular run-of-the-mill fountain pen inks, should be okay just to rinse it out uh, by moving the piston back and forth to flush the water in and out there. But what's really cool about this design is the fact that you can then take it apart and then be able to give it a thorough clean. So the rose gold plated nib is a number four size Yovo stainless steel nib. It's available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, or 1.1 millimeter stub. Uh, really great writers out of the box, uh, very reliable, good quality writing nib that's on here, and that rose gold finish just looks really, really nice. Other eco pens that I mentioned in various other colors, they usually start at $30.99. The Smoke Rose Gold 2, since it does have the rose gold finishing on here, is available at a premium, although not that much more, at $49.99. So uh, this pen still becomes a quite an attractive option as an everyday a starter fountain pen that has just a little bit extra luxury attached to it and also the convenience of being able to uh, take apart the pen and then reassemble it if you need to uh, give it a thorough cleaning. So this is your number five pen. This is the Twisby Eco Smoke Rose Gold. At number four, we have a new introduction from Lamy Germany. These are the Safari Special Edition colors of 2021. You have Terra Red and Savannah Green. These are inspired by the original Safari colors introduced in 1980. They aren't exactly, exactly the same. They're just slightly different, but they are very reminiscent of them. They are made out of ABS plastic uh, with a nice matte finish. Uh, so these are in contrast uh, several editions ago. We've had, let's say, the pastels, which had the polished ABS plastic. These have the texturized uh, matte finish that's on here. They have black trims and a wire clip. Uh, so you'll see like the nib is also black as well on the fountain pen, but you'll have a, a black uh, retainer ring here. You have the black clip, the black finial that's on here. Speaking of the nib, we have a black stainless steel LZ50 nib available in extra fine, fine or medium 
that you can swap them for whatever LZ50 nib that you want to. You can even switch, switch it for an, a stainless steel uh, version if you don't like the black version. It does have the LT10 ink cartridge inside, so it's always available in blue when it comes to Lamy. It's this little retainer ring to make sure it doesn't get punctured in transit. Or it also can use the LZ28 converter, which is not included with the purchase of the pen. However, and this is just a little hint from us here, is that we have promotion running at the moment, but it may not run much longer, is that the converter will actually be included as a free extra item uh, when you purchase either of these fountain pens. And that's a limited time sort of thing, so uh, don't call me out on it like a couple months later when that gets discontinued, we run out of converters or run out of pens. We are including them for a limited time, so check that out if you're interested. Uh, and want to get in the converter included. In addition to the fountain pen, we have a rollerball, uh, which I don't have here, uh, but we also have a rollerball or ballpoint pen. So the ballpoint pen is a click action. It uses an LM16 ballpoint pen refill, which is proprietary to Lamy. In addition to the fountain pen, there's also available in this collection a rollerball and ballpoint pen. The ballpoint pen uses an LM16 Lamy proprietary ballpoint pen cartridge in blue, it includes. And the Rollerball uses an LM63 Rollerball cartridge, which is also proprietary to Lamy and also gets usually included in blue. These pens were just introduced last week and they've been selling like hotcakes ever since they came in. Uh, they're always looked forward to by Lamy collectors, by people who are getting into the fountain pen hobby or, or just enjoying a nice uh, fun looking colorful pen. They are listed at $37 retail for the fountain pen, but we sell them, of course, at a discount at $29.60 currently. The Rollerball is at $25 retail or $20 on a discounted price, or the Ballpoint pen is available at $20, $16 discounted on sale at goldspot.com. So check out the Safari 2021 Special Edition Terra Red and Savannah Green while they are at goldspot.com. At number three, I have one of the 10th anniversary Sailor Pro Gear cocktail fountain pens. This is the Cure Azure. However, number three belongs to all of the cocktails. Uh, each year since 2011, Sailor has produced a new fresh ingredients concoction of a cocktail themed pen for the Japanese market only. Finally, in 2019, they let us as a US retailer have Angel's Delight and then 2020 we have the Cure Azure. So in addition to the Cure Azure, they allowed into the US market a beautiful, beautiful set, a 10th anniversary set, re-releasing all 10 pens uh, in a beautiful display case, including a leather case, uh, cartridges for all the pens, converters for all the pens, and uh, we initially sold these as a set on the website. Um, they came in very, very limited quantities in December, and a few collectors snatched them up really quickly. Then when we received another shipment in January, we decided, you know, there's a lot of people who were interested in specific models within that 10th anniversary set, and Sailor was actually providing us with the boxes to go along with them so that we could then decide to split them up if we like to, and we said, hey, you know, that's a pretty good idea because not everybody could afford dropping three grand on fountain pens, I suppose. We got other priorities to worry about, right? So um, what we did was we split them all up and certain ones have just kind of, we could tell which one's the popular ones, I'll let you know. Uh, Tequila Sunrise for sure, Blue Lagoon, and Opera Ski. Definitely top three out of the bunch, but ones like the Cure Azur, this is my particular Cure Azur. I have been using this since they uh, introduced them probably about November, I want to say. Uh, and this is like a phenomenal, I, I love the Pro Gear. Uh, I, if you ask me which one I prefer, the Pro Gear, the 1911, uh, I like the Pro Gear for all the crazy colors that it comes in. 1911 is still a little bit on the conservative side, but it does have that very classic sort of look. I love the flattened ends of it, the little highlight of the, uh, the lime wedge or the lemon wedge, I guess that's up here. And then the gold trim on the blue is just always a color combination that just really knocks my socks off. And the fact that they contrast this with a clear uh, uh, blue cap, but then also include the clear translucent sparkly barrel uh, in the same color blue there. It just really just is some creativity that goes into describing the various cocktails. And it just, 
you know, it just is really interesting to see where they went with some of these designs. And you could find them all on Goldspot. Um, there are some of them that I think probably at this point are sold out of either the medium point or the medium fine point. I know majority of them that we do have in either fine or medium fine point. This one particularly is a medium. Uh, I like this for just general writing purposes because sailor nibs do run a little bit on the thinner side. So when you're looking at a medium fine or a fine in a sailor, um, those are pretty much like most European extra fines would be and their fine point is probably even finer than a European extra fine so it takes a particular taste to really enjoy those pens people who write small who write very uh, slowly methodically uh, maybe write very detailed notes um, those are those are more suitable to that type of thing uh, for me I really like to see the ink on the paper so a, a nib like a medium nib affords me that ability to show the ink on paper and it also increases the smoothness of the nib as well because the feedback is more apparent on the thinner nib sizes and the medium and the broad uh, tend to be the smoothest of the uh, regular nib sizes. The Sailor Pro Gear Cocktail Collection is available in 10 different styles and they are available in fine, medium fine, or medium. Like I said, most of the medium I believe is sold out at this moment and medium fine is dwindling and there's probably the best amount of availability in the fine point. Uh, they are $340 each. Uh, they do include a converter, a cartridge, and our gift box with a one-year warranty from Sailor. Uh, and then we also split up, we have the zip around leather pen cases that hold 10 pens and we also have the acrylic displays for sale as well. So if you want to buy a la carte, we have all the pieces there and you can check them out at goldspot.com. Sailor Pro Gear Cocktail, 10th anniversary, number three for your February 2021 top five list. And taking the second spot in this month's top five list is the Edison Penco Diamond Cast Satellite Limited Edition Fountain Pen. This was made in collaboration with Edison Pen Co. and Mackenzie Penworks. If you're familiar with Diamond Cast, you'll know from this little card here. This is the Mackenzie Penworks Diamond Cast. This is a, a beautiful material uh, that is partly alumilite and also made with diamond dust, real legit diamond dust. The satellite is numbered and limited to 76 pieces worldwide, which is significant for 1876 when Thomas Edison moved to Menlo Park, New Jersey. Menlo Park, if you're not aware from where we are, is about a 20 minute drive and has a pretty good mall over there. They have a White Castle right next to it, so way to go, Thomas Edison. <laughs> but the uh, diamond cast material color is really, is reminiscent of what you would see, let's say, I guess, from the position of a satellite orbiting Earth. So you would see uh, swirls of green, blue, and then uh, white clouds that go all throughout and in the greens and blues you would see this beautiful shimmering effect that the diamond dust provides as you turn it in the light and that's what the calling card for this diamond cast material is is that beautiful sparkling effect um, that just continues to delight as you just stare and oogle at this pen uh, even as you write with it. I uh, probably would get way too distracted to write with this uh, at this moment. Um, this actually, this pen is going to a uh, YouTube friend of ours, well, friend and customer of ours, Ken, uh, who asked on his order notes for me to take a look at it and to make sure that uh, everything was up to code for it uh, before he got it sent out. So Ken, if you're watching, this is your pen. It's going out a little bit later today after we're done shooting this video. It has a stainless steel number no. six Yovo nib. It was available in extra fine, fine, medium, and broad, and a 1.1 millimeter stub. And uh, these are removable nib units, so I'll show you. It does also include a converter, so that's uh, noteworthy to mention here. It's a standard Schmidt K5 converter. Can also be converted to eyedropper, so if you want to silicone grease the threads here and then eyedrop ink right into the barrel, you could do that if you'd like. Then also too is if you have another number six size Yovo nib unit, you could then just unscrew the nib unit from the front grip section and then replace it with uh, another Yovo number six nib unit. It's a pretty adaptable pen uh, being that a lot of pens these days use Yovo number six size nibs. Uh, and international uh, cartridge converter system. So you could then mix and match it with other pens in your collection if you'd like. Uh, but uh, but uh, right out of the box, this is a solid writer. Uh, this particular one's an extra fine here. I think we still just have pretty much extra fine 
I want to say some medium and br no, no broad nibs, that's for sure. Yeah, but um, they are going quick. I'm really surprised that they aren't all completely sold out. I mean, come on, guys. This is Diamond Cast we're talking about here. And it's uh, list price is $199. So $199, which is a little bit more of a premium over uh, the other Edison Newark pens that we have available, but it is due to the special material uh, from Mackenzie Penworks. So this is a uh, this is not a generic uh, acrylic that is used that would be available on most other Edison pens. This is something special that is made by a U.S. company and of course infused with diamond dust. So uh, it's something really special that I was excited uh, to see arrive this month. Awesome, beautiful pen. Uh, it also includes a little Edison Penco sticker and a bookmark here as well. So uh, awesome presentation beautiful pen and certainly worthy of the number two spot in this month's top five. To bring you our number one pen of the month, here is Chris to tell you about it. Hey guys, Chris here, and I have the pleasure of being here today to tell you about the number one pen of February 2021's top five, the Retro 51 Tornado Zen Rollerball Pen. This is a, uh, an exclusive that we collaborated with Retro 51 to produce, and the reason that it holds a special place in my heart is because I got to design it. I got to conceptualize it from top to bottom, uh, with of course plenty of design advice and guidance from Tom and Richard at Retro, and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. We were super excited to release this, and that was very, very evident in the initial response. This was a numbered edition. It was limited to 370 pieces uh, because of the 37 individual qualities under the seven factors of awakening pertaining to uh, Zen philosophy and ideology. It features an acid etched matte textured barrel to mimic the rippling sand of a Zen garden. Very tactile experience. Uh, it has, interestingly, a glossy finished river so you have a different texture that winds like incredibly asymmetrically and randomly across the surface of the pen. So you're really getting a nice contrast of, uh, again, tactile experience, however you pick it up, however you hold it and, and write with it. I think it's really fun. There are floating cherry blossom petals uh, along the river that are falling from these two uh, cherry blossom trees that I have. The river meanders around in an aesthetic fashion. And it has stonewashed pewter accents uh, and hardware, including the clip and the knurled twist top mechanism. It also has an Enso symbol on the top disc, which is another symbol that is relevant to uh, the Zen mindset. This twist action rollerball pen includes a Ref 5P capless rollerball refill in black, and it can actually be converted to a Parker style uh, ballpoint refill if you like. Now going back to uh, my point where it seemed that you guys are very excited to see this pen release, it sold out. All, all 370 pens sold out in two hours. We received a lot of positive feedback and a lot of interest uh, with this pen and that's not lost on me personally. <laughs> I'm very flattered that uh, you guys were able to make this a very successful release for us. Uh, the Zen pen was a really cool passion project for me, similarly to the pizza pen. Um, if you recall, we still have some of those, but uh, yeah, I'm excited and I'm, I'm also excited to be able to hold this artistic proof, original proof of the Zen pen. It's my ability to, to hold on to this design in some way while the rest are out there in the world being enjoyed by you. Thank you, Chris, for giving us our top spot for February's top five pens. He literally gave us this pen. We hope that March will not only bring warmer weather, but it will also bring more awesome pens from Retro 51, Leonardo, Visconti, Caveco, and more. Never miss out on a new exciting pen release by subscribing to the Gold Spot Pens weekly email newsletter. There's a link below in the description. If you're looking to get started in the fabulous world of fountain pens and are intrigued by the Eco Smoke Rose Gold, check out the Twisby Eco Fountain Pen Overview here. Find out the story behind the Gold Spot exclusive Edison Newark fountain pen by watching this introduction and writing sample here. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would mean a lot to us if you hit the like button and subscribe to Gold Spot Pen's YouTube right here for more fun videos in the world of fine writing. Stay inky, my friends. Take care.